No getting enough outdoor hockey this year? Well, today I'm going to show you three great drills you can do at home to make the most of all this extra time you've got indoors. I'm Adam, by the way, founder of Vital Hockey, the first live online hockey training program in the sport. So, these drills I'm showing you today are designed to improve your ball control, hand speed, footwork agility, and your 3D skills. Each drill is designed to be practiced for one minute, then repeated two more times. So that's nine minutes total, working with the ball, adding breaks, and this is a nice little 15 minute workout that should be easy to fit into your day. Plus, I think you'll see it has extremely large impact on your skills and your game. In fact, extra time training at home is actually really important, whether we're playing outdoors or not. The famous study by Anders K. Erickson, which was made popular by Malcolm Gladwell's best-selling book, Outliers, tells us that we need around 10,000 hours of practice to get mastery of a skill or a sport. So obviously, none of us are going to get 10,000 hours of pitch time. So if we want to get really good at hockey, we're going to need to put in some extra work at home. Now, 10,000 hours sounds like an awful lot. And it's not just simple math. How we practice those hours really matters. And actually, that number can be reduced if we're really smart about how we train and what we train on. What we want to try and do is work with leverage. So, what does practicing and working with leverage actually mean? It means spending more of our time on drills that improve multiple aspects of our game at the same time. So we multiply how much benefit we get from, say, one minute of practice. And that is what we're going to do today. These three drills will improve multiple aspects of your game, and especially the third drill, so make sure you stick around for that. Okay, enough, enough talking. Let's get started. We're going to start with a draw called the V-Pull, one of my favorites. Start with the ball at the back of your space. You probably want about six by six feet of flat space. It can be carpet, it can be a bit of turf like this in your garage or any flat surface your kitchen floor will do. Okay, so we're gonna start in the middle, we're gonna trace the shape of a V with our open side, all right, going left to start with, back to the middle, and then to our right, back to the middle. You'll notice I'm not taking one big step each way, I'm trying to take multiple short steps, which is something that needs to be common in the way you practice your skills. We wanna be taking small, quick steps. This gives us agility and the ability to move fast in small spaces. Okay, so I'll show you one more time. We're going to go left diagonally, back, and then out to our right, back. All right, now, you want to move like that for one minute, then we take 45 seconds break, and repeat two more times. This is such a good movement to master, because you can use it all over the field. It's going to give you time, to, uh, time and space to play passes or dodge a defender. If you watch the best player in the world, Arthur Van Buren, he was voted that two of the last three years. He uses this all the time in matches. It gives him time and space to look up and play great passes, keep possession for his team. Next up, we're going to work on our 3D skills. We're going to lift and hold the ball, bouncing it on our stick. I'll show you now. Start with the ball on the right side. We're going to move the ball right to left. Then we're going to lift the ball on an angled stick, control it for two seconds, knock it back. So. Right to left, up, control, knock it back. And again, up, control, knock it back. Do that two or three times, then switch directions. So now we're gonna go from the left to the right. Same deal, we're just gonna get it up, bounce, knock it back. Okay, so again, work for one minute at a time, go in both directions, 45 minutes break, repeat two more times. This is great for ingraining the basics of our 3D skills. We really want to be able to balance that ball quickly. That transition from lifting to balancing helps us really improve our control. And that's what we're going for here. Okay, now onto my favorite drill of the lot, ice skaters. This drill works on your ball control, hand speed, and then in your legs, muscle endurance, agility, strength, and power. This is a truly leveraged practice. We're going to start with the ball outside our left foot and we're going to be moving outside the left, outside the right. A nice wide uh, movement. And we're going to go from one foot to the other, exploding off each side, landing on the front of our foot and the bent knee. So this is really going to improve our balance and single leg stability. So cross, 
each side building our speed, trying to get faster and faster, where you should be really spending very little time on the ground and see how fast you can go. Work for one minute and you're really going to feel it in your thighs and glutes. Same protocol, rest 45 seconds, repeat two more times. And that's it, pretty simple, 15 minute workout. You can do it at home or anywhere really when you've got this six by six flat space. Try and fit it in three times a week and you're gonna see a huge improvement to your game. And if you're interested in more training like this, check out my website, vitalhockey.by. Sign up and for just $40 a month, you can get access to two live workouts led by me every week. You're gonna get personal feedback from me during the, during the workout plus individual email feedback from me afterwards. You can really help perfect your technique and improve your skills. Until next time, keep getting better.